Hello, Mike. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. I got your uh, plan. Thanks for sending it in. And you're saying here you're trying to make a pentagon-shaped window uh, gable underneath the gable. And so I have your plan here, and I went ahead and opened it up, and I can see, yeah, this is exactly, uh, I think what you're trying to do is kind of follow that gable straight on up with a pentagon window there. Yeah, so you did this perfectly. I see this window that is sloping here, so our other viewers know. If you were to go to shape, they have this cool option where you can match roof. And all you have to do is click it one time, and it'll shape it perfectly for that roof which is great but in this case it's a little trickier you got to have to manually move the edges to where you want so if you go back to the shape you'll notice there's some other options here that you can do top and side corners with so I'm going to select them both on because we're going to manipulate both sides and we want to figure out the offset so I'm just going to guess here to start us off I'm going to say like 24 and 24 and then I want to make sure the height is different because it's asking 48. So I'm going to say here, um, um, let's see, I don't know, 36 and 36. So I can see it's shaping the wrong direction. So I want to go above 48. So now I want to go maybe 50 and 50. And so that raises it up a little bit more. And I can make this, um, well, let's make this. 36 and 36. I'm trying to find that angle where it works the best um, and height. So now I'm going to go 60 and 60 and pump it up a little bit more for myself just to get a better height going on. So now I'm going to go 28 and 28. So now I'm getting really close to, I think, the shape that I want. So I want to test it in the plan. And notice it's too big. That's okay. So I'm just going to drag it on down and it should keep the shape for you. So the angle is just a little too much. So I'm going to open it up again. I'll go back to my shape tool and I'm just going to shape that angle a little bit less. Let's say 24 and 24. That doesn't seem to do it uh 28 and 28 let's see um 40 and 40. so it's kind of sloping down a little bit less than that and just kind of following the eyeball of the line there i think that just about does it i'm going to come in here and just kind of tweak it a little bit more let's see in the shape 5150 by 28, 28. That seems right. Let's go 29 and 29 and just get the point together. And that'll point it just a little bit tighter together. And I think that does it. There we go. So that's the magic number. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Oh, if I save, I'm saving in X11. You're in X10, so this won't translate over to you. So you'll just have to follow these steps for your um, X10 in order to get this window because all those options are available in X10 as well as the new version here that I'm using, X11. Hopefully that helped, and thanks so much for sending in your plan and a detailed description of what you're after. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.